Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome back to the show. So today is all about post-game routines. So I know I can't see you, but I want you to raise your hand if after a game or a practice, you focus on the negative and the I should have done this and I could have done this way more than the good things that you did in your game or your practice. I'm assuming you're probably raising your hand. If you're anything like me, then you're probably raising your hand. Or if you're anything like any of the girls I work with, right, it's a lot easier to focus on, hey, these are the things I did bad, these are the things I sucked at, these are the things I'm not proud of, rather than the more, probably way more good things that you did, right? We're just naturally wired that way as human beings to focus on the bad and kind of just put put the good aside, right? But I wanna change that for you because I know that when you are so focused on the negative after you play, does a couple things. Number one, it brings down your confidence. You don't feel very good about yourself when you're only focused on the things you did wrong, right? And number two is it causes a lot of stress. I know a lot of players, I work with a lot of players who, when I first started working with them, you know, they, they really would, would think about it, you know, if for, for days, you know, hours and days, they would be thinking about their mistakes and that creates a lot of stress. It cuts into your sleep. It cuts into your homework. It cuts into you just enjoying yourself because you're too worried and too caught up in what you should have done or what you could have done. But here's the thing. It should have and could have and would have. Those are all in the past. You can't change any of that. So today I am going to show you kind of my three-step exercise, kind of a journaling exercise for you to be able to actually feel confident and feel good and be able to just, you know, let it go after you play a game. Okay. So the purpose of this is we're we're really going to focus on a couple things and we'll go through those. I'll give you three specific kind of questions. I want you to ask yourself, but we're, yes, we're going to focus on kind of what can I improve on? Cause I don't want you to just totally forget about that. Otherwise it's like, you know, what did you learn from it? So I want you to, it's going to, we're going to be talking about how did you know, what did you learn from it so that you can get better? And then we're going to focus on the good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to give you three specific journaling questions. So I would suggest, um, if you have, can maybe put like a little notebook in in your bag. Um, so that after your game or practice, you can write it down as soon as you, um, as soon as you get done with practice, maybe on the way home, um, you can put it in your phone and kind of create maybe a note section there. Or first thing when you get home, I want you to start practicing this journaling exercise and then kind of see how it makes you feel afterwards. All right. So the first journaling prompt is you're going to ask yourself, what did I learn? Okay. That's the first one. What did I learn? And I don't care how you you can write bullet points. You can just free write. I just want you to, to kind of reflect on what you learned in that practice or game. Okay. Otherwise, like we talked about, if you're not learning, you're not growing right? You have to be always learning. There's always something you can take from your game or your practice. There's always something you could take and learn from it. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is how can I improve? Okay. So based on kind of like what you learned, uh, this is your time to give yourself a little bit of feedback. Okay. What can I do better? Can I make harder runs? Can I drive harder to the basket? Can I communicate better? So what can you do to improve and make sure that these are things that you actually have control over, right? Otherwise it does you no good to focus on things that you can't control. So write down a few things of what can I improve? I don't want you to write 10 things. Try to keep it to no more than like, ideally like three things that you can improve. That way you can focus in on those three things. If you have more than that, it just gets watered down and it's hard to focus on too many things at once, okay? And then the last one, number three journal prompt, is you're going to write down what are three things that I did well, or what are three things that I'm proud of, okay? And and we're gonna end with this because when you end with the good, 
you can kind of take a deep breath and you can drop it and you can go enjoy the rest of your night and not stress out about it. Okay. So that's why we want to do that. But also, like I said, at the beginning, there's probably way more, not probably, I know for sure that there's way more good things that happen than bad things. It's just easier to remember the few bad things, right? So out of the practice of the game, even if it was a horrible game, I promise you, you can pull out three good things that you did well, or three things you did that you're proud of, okay? And I want you to really reflect on those, really like let it sink in and realize and let this kind of shift your mindset from one of, oh man, I didn't do good, I suck, and talking to yourself negatively to be like, wow, you know what, I kind of forgot that I did this, but that was really good. And I'm really proud of myself, right? Then you can leave with some confidence because so many players, like I said, after a game, it's just like they beat themselves down and you chip away slowly at your confidence every single time you play a game, whether it was good or it was bad. So now, even if it's not the greatest game, you can still learn how to build your confidence from it and get better from it just by doing these three journaling exercises. Okay, so I'll run through them one more time. Number one, what did I learn? Number two, how can I improve? Write no more than three things. And then number three, or what are at least three things I did well? Okay, remember, do it right after practice, right after your game, so that it's fresh in your mind and so that you don't lose sleep over it, you don't get stressed out about it, because that is no fun. All right, so if this episode helped you, let me know. I wanna, I wanna help as many girls as I can like you. So please share this episode with a friend, take a screenshot of it, text it to them. And if you wanna go, like, I wanna have a conversation with you. Like, I wanna know who listens to my podcast. I wanna know you, I wanna talk to you, I wanna thank you. So take a screenshot of this episode, send it to me on Instagram and let me know, like, what was your biggest takeaway? Is there something that really stood out to you? Is there something that you really wanna try to do? Did you try it and you saw an awesome result? Like, if so, I wanna know about it. Okay, because I want to thank you for being here, for listening, for taking time out of your day to work on your confidence. And I respect you for that. And I'm proud of you for just listening to these episodes and putting in the work. So you should be proud of yourself as well. All right. Well, thanks so much for listening and I'll catch you next week. Bye.